In this video, I'm going to show you how to clean up your Gmail inbox. So whether you're running out of space in Gmail or you just have too many mails in your inbox, then this video is for you. So I'm going to show you different methods to clean up space and the timestamps are given in the description. So without wasting more time, let's get straight into it. So the first method is to delete emails of a large size. And it's really easy to get a list of all these mails. All you have to do is go to filter that's over here. So click on this. Then here next to size, select greater than and over here enter 5. Now this will show me all of the emails of size 5 MB or more. And you can change this number to whatever you want. So then click on search. And here, as you can see, all of the emails of 5 MB or more have come here. And now it's easy to go through the emails which you want and those which you don't. And let's say you want to delete all. Then you have to click on the select all icon that's here. And then if you're sure you want to delete it, just click on delete. And now they're deleted. Now I'll show you the second method which will help in deleting all of the spam emails. For this, we're going to be using categories. So categories are basically these pages over here, like promotions and social, but there's one more category, which is a game changer. So to enable it, click on settings that's here. After that, select see all settings. Then here you'll have to select inbox, which is here. And in categories, Select updates. So usually promotions and social will be auto enabled, but updates will have to manually add it. And then just scroll down and click on save changes. And now as you can see, the number of mails in my primary inbox has gone down from 3000 to 100. And this is because all of the mails which were over here have moved to updates. So now having these categories makes it much easier to delete emails in bulk. So normally what I do is completely delete the promotions and social categories. So I'll go to promotions and like its name suggests, all of the emails over here are just advertisements. So now to delete all, click on this icon that's the select all button, then click on select all conversations in promotions and then delete all together by clicking on delete that's over here. Click on OK. And now as you can see, the promotions tab is empty. The same way, follow this method for the social tab. So I'll quickly do it. I'll go to social, then click on this icon. After that, click on select all conversations and again, delete them. And now both of these categories are empty and the last category left is updates. But in updates, you can't follow the same method of deleting all because in this, there may be some important emails. So normally what I do is go through some of the mails in updates and just identify which ones are repeating. For example, I know I get a lot of emails from NASA. So now what I can do is delete all of the mails which I've received from NASA in the past. And it's really simple. Just right click over here, then click on find emails from NASA. That's here. And here's a list of all of the emails which they've sent. And now I can follow the same method of selecting all by clicking on this icon. After that, I can click on select all conversations and then just click on delete. And now all of the emails from NASA have gone. So the same way you can continue this process and identify more senders that frequently send emails to you. And now there's one last step you should follow and this helps to identify spam mails. So for this, you have to click on filter, which is over here. Then over here next to has the words, just type unsubscribe and then click on search. So now it's given me a list 
of all of the emails which have an option to unsubscribe from them. So in the last methods of the updates page, we deleted all of the old emails, but now by unsubscribing, we are stopping these emails from being sent to us in the future. And the method is extremely simple. Let's say I want to unsubscribe from Finshots Markets. That's here. I'll click on it. Scroll down and you'll find an unsubscribe option at the end. So click on it and click on unsubscribe. So the same way you can go through all of the mails in this filter and just unsubscribe from them so that you won't receive more mails from them in the future. So this is basically how it works. And if you want to know some cool and important Gmail settings, then check out this video over here. That's it for today. Goodbye.